हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज सुमित मेहता सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन बेसिक ऑफ वेक्टरल जेप सो द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन आई एम रिटिंग डाउन हेयर वी नीड टू रिप्रेजेंट graphically represent graphically a displacement of forty kilometers thirty degree west of south okay so this is the question and we need to represent it graphically so i am drawing four directions let's say this is east west this is north and this is south and what the question says is the represent a displacement of 40 km 30 degree west of south so this is let's say 30 degree this is 30 degree and let's say the magnitude is up to this point is 40 on a scale of let's say 10 so this unit is 40 so this p vector or you can say the op vector is 40 km and 30 degree west of south so this is how we represent the vectors okay i hope students now you are well aware of what are the difference between a vector quantity and a scalar quantity scalar quantity means scalar quantity it has only magnitude but not the direction like if i say 5 kg of sugar so this is a scalar quantity if i am saying that 5 km towards north means i have specified the direction also so this is a vector quantity okay so this is the difference between a scalar quantity and a vector quantity okay now let's discuss question number 2 so students here is the question in which we are given a figure okay in which four vectors are given a vector towards this direction b vector b vectors towards this direction c this and d this and also the magnitude in units this is one unit okay so a vector is of two unit c is also of two unit d is of three units and b is also of three units i am drawing let's say this is one unit scale okay so i need to specify out of these which are collinear equal and coinitial vectors so to specify collinear vectors collinear vectors mean students which are in a straight line okay which are a c and t vectors okay equal vectors length and direction c equal vectors so a and c because the, their direction is also same and their length is also same and coinitial means originating from a same point so from this point three vectors are originating so i can say b c and d are coinitial vectors so i hope students now you are pretty clear about what are coinitial collinear and equal vectors okay and in the next lecture we'll discuss about addition and subtraction of vectors
okay so stay tuned for that lecture thank you happy learning students